Researchers, farmers, and conservationists from across the country came to Arkansas to examine possible solutions to problem pigweed. This has become a frequent sight in cotton fields across the state this summer. Hoe hands, as they are called, chopping down palmer amaranth or pigweed. Roundup technology is no longer effective in controlling the rapidly growing weed, which generates thousands of seeds and can take over a field if not monitored daily. It's forced Pace Hinesley and other cotton farmers to change the way they grow their crops. I was figuring up the other day, I was probably a few years ago spending around $20 an acre on weed control when we were just completely round up. Uh, now it's probably somewhere around 75 to 100 to $120 an acre in uh, weed control costs now. And that's a tremendous amount of pressure on our bottom line. This is a national issue, and Arkansas recently hosted a zero tolerance herbicide resistant weeds conference, which included a visit to Heinz Lee's farm to see firsthand the severity of the infestation. Researchers have their hands full trying to develop a new method of controlling what some are calling the super weed. It is going to change the way we farm. Roundup Ready came in, it changed the way we farm. This is going to change the way we farm again. We're not going back to farming like we did before Roundup Ready. We can't go there. That's not an option. Uh, we know that. So our challenge is to find those solutions and then convey them to the farmer. Smith says this won't totally eliminate conservation tillage practices in Arkansas, though many growers are disking up their ground again in attempts to control the weed. And if we see one weed out in the field, one weed can produce 200, 300,000 seed. So if we let one weed escape, we're back to square one again the next year. But they are very important Phillips County two, agent so Robert kind of Goodson says the infestation that. has led some growers to totally disk up parts of their crop while there could be an overall 20 to 30 percent reduction in cotton yields in the county. Until a new effective product is developed, producers must remain vigilant in using old-fashioned methods of keeping it out of their fields. <laughs>